Welcome back to How to Cake It. I'm Yolanda, and today I'm making a Nutella mega cake. Do I need to say more? I have baked three of my ultimate chocolate cakes in eight inch round pans. The first thing I need to do is remove them and level them all to the same height. Orhan, yeah? there are three cake humps with your name on them. Oh, good. <laughs> Unlike Jeremy, Orhan never says no to cake. Where is Jeremy anyway? It's time to simple syrup my three layers of chocolate cake. Yes, Sir Squeeze is on the job again. The simple syrup is gonna keep my cakes nice and moist while decorating. Don't worry, it doesn't make them any sweeter. You just wanna let it soak in. In the meantime, I need to introduce you to my hazelnut meringues. Orhan, can we put in like some sexy music when I bring the meringues? No, this isn't sexy enough. Oh, no, 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 this is too sexy. Yes, yes, everyone, meet my hazelnut meringues. Now I need to take these hazelnut meringues out of their pens. I bake them in an eight inch round pan, just like my cakes, but these pans have a removable bottom, which is really gonna help me not to break them, hopefully. Tell me how you made those, Yolanda. It was like a chocolate hazelnut dream. I'm gonna make my hazelnut meringue layers now for this Nutella mega cake. The first thing I need to do is pour my six room temperature egg whites into my mixing bowl. And now I'm gonna put my bowl onto my mixer with a whip attachment. I'm going to slowly turn my mixer up to the highest speed. And once my egg whites are frothy, I'm gonna gently add my sugar on one side of the bowl in a steady sugar waterfall. That's what I like to call it. While my egg whites and sugar are becoming a beautiful meringue, I'm going to chop my hazelnut wafers and then mix them with my ground hazelnuts, chopped hazelnuts, and baking powder. This meringue looks great. So you just wanna beat your egg whites with your sugar until you get like soft peaks and it looks sort of glossy white. And then it's ready. You wanna get all the good meringue off your whip and into your bowl. Now I just wanna secure my bowl in place so that I can fold all of this mixture into my meringue. You just wanna fold the mixture until everything is coated in meringue. You don't wanna overmix it and you don't wanna stir. Now that my hazelnut meringue mixture is ready, the first thing I wanna do is scale out about a pound of it. I'm gonna save that mixture to make some hazelnut clouds for the outside of the cake. And then I'm gonna divide the rest between two eight inch removable bottom pans. You definitely wanna line your pans with parchment. So I've lined the bottom and the sides. You can use a little bit of shortening to keep the parchment paper in place. I just want the meringue mixture to be distributed evenly in the pan. It's not going to have a smooth top. It's more like a crater or something. With the meringue mixture that I set aside, I want to create just some little mounds, little puffs or like hazelnut clouds that I'm going to use on the outside of my mega cake. This is really easy to do. You just need your hands. Just take a little bit of the meringue mixture and drop it onto a silicone baking mat. You can also do this on parchment paper. Don't be too concerned with them being perfectly even. I always feel slightly shocked when I say that. <laughs> if you don't have time to make this whole cake, this is brilliant what I'm about to say. Hold your breath. All right. If you don't have time to make this whole Nutella mega cake, you can just make these hazelnut meringues spread Nutella on them, and eat them. You'll want to bake these hazelnut meringues at 325 degrees for about 50 to 60 minutes. You're looking for them to get sort of nice and golden on the top. Bye. Let's make some Nutella buttercream. 
more sexy music we're on. Just, I think it should just play through the whole episode. To make my Nutella buttercream, I am going to mix one recipe of my Italian meringue buttercream with one jar of Nutella. I'm going to use my mixer and just a whip attachment to whip them together until they're fully combined. I'm gonna start with my speed on low and once it starts to mix together, I'll bring it up to like a medium high speed and whip it all together. It's a tough job, but someone's gotta do it. I'm not gonna tell her. <laughs> I really wanted to do it. I'm not gonna tell ya how good this tastes. I've got all of my components ready. I have my chocolate cakes, my hazelnut meringues, my Nutella buttercream, and of course, Nutella. Oh my God. Cody, settle down. Okay, it's time to build this cake. Cody? Yeah, yeah. Cody? Yep. Hi, this hey. is how to cake it. Okay, so I'm gonna start building the cake. First, put a layer of cake down. Cody? Yeah, yes. Layer of cake. <laughs> Cody. <laughs> now we're gonna spread pure Nutella onto this layer. Time to add the hazelnut meringue on top. It's just gonna add like another layer of nutty goodness and it's nice and crunchy. Just spread your Nutella buttercream on top of your meringue. The meringue doesn't have a smooth surface on top, but make sure your buttercream is even and smooth. Next, another layer of cake. Now I just wanna use my small offset spatula to just remove any excess Nutella or buttercream oozing out the sides. This looks so good. I'm gonna do it all over again. Adding more Nutella buttercream on top. I see you eyeing my bowl of buttercream on there. And you too, Cody. Even through the camera, I see you. Let's top this with our third layer of chocolate cake. It's not done. It's, done. it's good enough for me, trust me. But I think I need to decorate it. Let's crown coat this cake with Nutella buttercream. And you know, you don't have to make my mega cakes as big as I make them. You can just half the recipe, make them half the size, and they are equally delicious. If you want all the details on how I made this cake, you can find them on my blog. Just click the I to get there. The Nutella is a little bit slippery inside the cake, so the cake is wobbling as I'm crumb coating. You just want to be gentle and get it in the fridge as fast as you can. Hey, yeah. Yeah? Have you ever dropped a cake? Why would you ask me that now? No. And you do realize if I drop this, no one gets to eat it. My crumb coat is nice and chilled. It's time to ice this cake with more Nutella buttercream. Guys, by the way, if you like cakes like this that are filled with chocolate goodness, I have a new channel and it's called How to Cake It Step by Step. We put up cake compilations and we put up step-by-step -step tutorial videos. And this week's compilation is all about chocolate mega cakes for all the chocoholics or cakeaholics in the house. So while you're there, make sure to subscribe and you'll know when we put up a new video. Once you're happy with your cake, place it in the fridge to chill, and once this buttercream is chilled, we can move on to decorate. Eat it. Decorate. We have to decorate first. Fine. Okay. Actually, you know what I've been thinking? I want to create a texture on this cake. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just icing on another thin layer of Nutella buttercream, and then I'm going to use my spatula to texture it. You guys can do whatever pattern you want, actually. You don't have to do what I'm doing. I figure because the meringues are like rustic looking, then the cake should go with it, right? I really looks, like it! It looks really good. Ah, I love it! Okay, now it's time to smooth the top. So I'm just gonna use my small offset spatula, hold the cake stand. 
The next step is decorating this cake, but in all honesty, I would be really happy if somebody just gave me this. So if you want somebody to make this cake for you, guys, next month is Valentine's Day. Share this video with someone if you want them to make this cake for you. Ladies, there's a share button. It's really easy. Hold on guys, I just have to uh, send a picture of this to Mr. Cake. Okay, it's time to decorate. And I have everything I need here. I have some whole roasted hazelnuts, hazelnut cookie wafers, Ferrero Rocher chocolates, and then I have my hazelnut meringues. Mm. Oh my, oh my. I'm just roughly chopping some of my hazelnut meringues to go on the outside of the cake. And I'm just gonna place these morsels down around the bottom. Okay, I gotta stop, hold on. I'm trying to cut chunks that are just a bit bigger so I can make my hazelnut meringue mountain. Guys, if you wanna see great novelty cakes and all my best recipes, they are in my cake book. There's 20 new novelty cake recipes. It's available internationally at howtocakeit.com. Sometimes it's hard to build up a pile of things on a cake, so I'm thinking I need glue. What should I use as glue? Mm. Nice. I wanna do one more thing to this cake. It's very, very technical. I just need to sort through some hazelnuts and pick the perfect ones. Gorgeous, yes, your friend too. You look so well roasted. By the way, I also make novelty cakes on this channel. We have a new cake every single Tuesday, so subscribe if you wanna see more. I'm just gonna chop some of my hazelnut cookie wafers and add a few down around the bottom border. I know this cake looks good. Time to see if it tastes good. Orhan, sexy music. Hello, how you doing? I feel like I need to eat this in private. So thanks for watching. Click here to watch my chocolate mega cakes compilation and here to watch my handbag compilation over on my new channel, How to Cake It Step by Step. See you next week, maybe.